Hello guys and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, please be sure to check out my other videos to see if any of them might help you out with a do-it-yourself repair. YouTube provides me with statistics that show only about 10% of my video views come from subscribers. It would really help out with YouTube's algorithm to promote my videos if you would just click subscribe below. It costs you nothing and I would appreciate the support. Let's get on to the day's video. Alright guys, today we're in what's left of the cockpit of my 2000 Honda Accord. As you can see, I had the dashboard pulled out. And the reason the dashboard is pulled out is because I have to get to these boxes here. My heater core, which comes through your firewall and into this part of the box here, is broken and leaks into the car. As far as I've been able to discern, the only way to get to that part on this uh, generation is the dash has to come out. And I'm not gonna lie, that is a mess to do that. So what I'm gonna do here is back up and I'm gonna show you from the beginning the best I can how I went about getting that dashboard out and hopefully that's gonna help some of you weekend warriors out there. All right, let's go over some of the things that are gonna to have to come out in order to get the dashboard apart. Uh, the glove box, this vent, your radio, this trim piece here, your whole center console, your instrument cluster and then you have to drop the steering wheel all the way down it doesn't actually have to come out but it does have to be disconnected from where it goes in the dash and in top of this I'm going to take a step that you don't have to take I'm going to take my seats out of the car it's going to make it a little bit easier uh, to move around and film everything as we go so let's get started on the seats all right in order to get the uh, seats out of this car uh, these has four 14 millimeter uh, bolts that have to come out to in front to in the back and then there's an electrical connection in the top or under the seat and I'm going to use my impact here to get that out. There are your bolts on the rear part of the seat track have these covers over them. You can use a screwdriver to pry them loose or use your hands. There's two of those, get those off and I'm going to get those bolts out, we're going to be ready to take this seat out. Alright, with the seats out of the car, we're ready to get going. Uh, don't forget your electrical connectors underneath the seat, you have to disconnect them there. And then they have this piece that actually connects it to the bottom of the seat. And do not be surprised at what you find underneath it, this is a mess. Alright, uh, the next step is going to be the center console to start that process take both of these uh, knee panels off the sides. Show you how to do that real quick. Alright with the fuse panel door removed there are two bolts that you have to go after. This guy up here and behind this green connector there's another. They're both Phillips head. Get those removed and this should slide sideways and pop off. Right, with those two out it's just a matter of pulling this out. The uh, passenger driver side is exactly the same. Again, you take the fuse box door off, bolt down here, another one up here. All right, and on the back of that panel is your uh, keyless entry box for your car. We're going to just disconnect that. All right, the uh, next step is going to get this, this, if you're looking at the radio here, this piece of plastic here off. Just get your screwdriver behind it, gently pry it. It should just pop right out. All right, with that uh, center pa panel out and the knee bolsters out, you have four screws here and here. Same on the other side, go ahead and grab those. All right, uh, you guys with the manual uh, transmissions, you get the easy part. All you have to do is unscrew your um, your shifter here. Uh, the automatic guys, you're gonna have to pull the whole bezel up around your gear shift, uh, take the bolts out of it, and you basically have to take your gear shift out. I don't have an automatic to demonstrate on that on, so sorry. All right, now looking down inside of your glove box, uh, the center co console glove box, this piece of trim here pulls out, and you see those two screws in the back, they have to go. All right, with the uh, shift knob off, you just gently pry your this part with the beverage holder. It just snaps all the way around and then work it over the top of your emergency brake. And you left with a big hole like that. We have some screws in here we need to go after. There's one, two, three and four. Alright with those uh, four out you can take this piece out now uh, just don't forget that your electrical connector for your um, 12 volt power supply right there. 
All right, with all that disconnected, I did also have to take my emergency brake lever loose because it was not clearing this piece of plastic here. That, with that out of the way now, just pull the whole thing up and out. This electrical connector was connected to the bottom of the console here, so you just have to take that out as well. Let's move along. All right, we're going to go after the glove box now. Uh, there's going to be three screws here. Of course, I'm missing one. This open, you pry these little tabs up here and here. There's a screw underneath each one. And then two more back here behind the uh, latch for it. Let's get that out. All right, again, these three screws and the ones inside. I found another one here um, that wasn't mentioned in the... Uh, literature I'm looking at but that but that one has to go too. Uh, once that's done you have to kind of squeeze the hinges towards each other and then the whole thing should lift out. When you get to this point there is an electrical connection right there you need to grab that too. Okay I was going to try to show you the uh, proper way for removing the heat cluster there the controls for the heat and um, apparently mine wasn't even bolted in it mine just pulled right out but uh, what you're supposed to do is take the bezel off around the clock and behind the clock there's a screw that holds this panel to the dash uh, underneath it there are two more and then once you start to pull it away you have these electrical connectors that are hooked up to the back of the the uh, HVAC head unit here and get those disassembled now I'm going to go after my radio everybody's radio is different so just get yours out I'm going to get mine out Alright, next we're going to go after my instrument cluster. Uh, the first thing that has to happen, you have a screw here and a screw here. You need to get with a stubby screwdriver that pull this bezel out. It'll pop down and then the bottom part kind of kind of clips up. It's clipped in so it just kind of pries up. I'm going to get that out of there and I'll show you what's next. Alright, with that bezel removed, we need to go after this screw here, this one here, and then there's two more at the top. That whole piece is going to lift out. We're going to take the connectors off of the back and move that out of the way. All right, with the cluster out of the uh, dash now, we have three connectors at the top. One, two, three. And they're corresponding there. Uh, as you kind of tilt the top of it back, you're going to need to reach back and disconnect those before you uh, can pull it completely out. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's move along. All right, now I'm going to turn my attention to the steering wheel. You can take your steering wheel completely out if you want to, but it's not necessary. The whole thing needs to go all the way down and lay on the floor, though. Uh, to do that, we have to take this piece out here. It has uh, bolt, bolt holes here, here, and another one here at the bottom, and that should come down. All right, this is the uh, piece here that came off at the bottom. And this is the part that goes across the top of your steering wheel, and they just click together after you get those screws out. It's just a matter of popping them apart. Be careful. If everything's plastic, of course. You don't want to break it if you can help it. All right, let's turn our attention to the uh, bolts holding the uh, steering wheel up into where it belongs, and we're going to get those out and get it laid down. Okay, laying in the uh, passenger or the driver's side floorboard, we're looking at this nut here and this nut here. A bolt. They have to come out. They're 12 millimeters. All right, guys, I got the uh, steering wheel lowered down now. And just to show you what I was going after, you have this stud here and this one here. And they have 14 millimeter nuts that go over that. They go through the steering wheel. You take those out. And then in the back, where you'll have this piece bolted underneath it with uh, two 12 millimeters. Take that out as well. This airbag connector is not long enough, so you'll have to pull that before you lay the steering wheel down. I pulled these a couple of the uh, green connectors that fit up underneath the steering wheel off as well and just so you know they have these funky uh, plastic pieces here that actually fit down inside the connector you have to pop these out with a screwdriver before it will allow you to pinch that and disconnect it from the steering wheel all right let's get after the next part all right next uh, we're going to pull our change drawer out and there are two screws back there that have to come all right, with those two screws out, we're able to pop this out, and we're going to disconnect the electrical connector for the cruise control, and if you have a sunroof, your controls will be there as well, and then we'll store this out of the way. All right, guys, now for my favorite part, we have to take the passenger side airbag out. Uh, the first step to that is 
we need to disconnect this line here so we're going to follow it down comes out behind the dash and it's that guy right there and you see it has a plastic connector that holds it into the dash so get that apart and pull that connector out if you look in here there are four nuts holding the airbag to the uh, car we're going to take those four out and then after that we're going to gently come in here with a screwdriver we're going to pry the whole assembly out through the top here come back when I get that done okay with uh, this disconnected here and the four nine or correction 10 millimeter nuts are pulled out the whole thing's ready to go out through the top uh, what I did is I started on this corner with a screwdriver and then I kind of worked my fingers around the back of it I picked up from the back and work my way back around to the front and I got this one corner here left and then the whole assembly can pick up set the camera down so I can do that with uh, two hands okay I've got the airbag safely out of the way uh, one more thing there is a clip here that that um, cable runs through the connector for it and what you do is you put a screwdriver in between and you pry it like you pry in that direction and it should pop apart all right, let's move on. All right, I'm gonna do my very best to describe uh, what I've done so far. As far as removing these connectors, I took everything out of the fuse box here, uh, some that wrapped around on the other side. What I'm looking for is anything that's going up with the dash, that's gonna come out with the dash, needs to be disconnected. It's gonna also apply down here. What you're looking at is the um, controls that plug into the box and the environmental controls and all there because this wire here is going with the dashboard so you need to make sure all the wires that are associated that where they're connected that they're coming done also uh, one of the if you look way in the back here that's a uh, is your computer that first plug has to come out it snakes all the way back into here <clears throat> That's the connector there, and you need to follow that and every connector on it. It's got some grounds on it as well. It all follows back up to this part here. Get all that loose because that's all going with the dashboard. It's even including the uh, wire that goes back to your emergency brake. And there's some ground straps down there too. You just, again, you need to follow everything from this wire, everything from this wire, and everything from that wire has to be disconnected. All right, let's move over and show you the uh, driver's fuse box. Okay, we're looking uh, through where the vent would be. And you see this one long cable with the black tape around it here goes down into your fuse box and around it. Since this is going with the dash, every wire connected to that one needs to go too. So those are the, I guess that's four main ones. You just need to follow all of those to where they end and unplug them take pictures make sure you can be able to get it plugged back in where you can all right let's move along all right guys the uh, dash is now ready to come out uh, I'm not gonna lie that is a lot of work it took me several hours to get to this point uh, good luck if you have to do this repair yourself uh, the next thing we're gonna go after is actually the bolts that are holding the dashboard to the uh, car there should be 14 of them I'm gonna put a picture up here take a good look at that and I'm going to need to start going through and removing those uh, bolts from the car now. All right, I think I'm at the point now where I can take this out of the car itself. I think I have it all completely loose, and I'm going to show you uh, what I went after to do that. Um, two screws on this side, exactly the same on the opposite side. Inside here, you have this metal bar that fits under the dashboard there. It's held on with a uh, one, two, three, four, I think five screws. I went ahead and pulled that. Looking here behind the carpet bolt hole here that I removed. And then if you look inside the dash on the other side, I took those two out. It's exactly the same on the other side. All right, let's switch around over to the driver's side. All right, and on the driver's side again, you had the exact same two screws here. And of course, everything under here for the steering wheel needs to come off. There was a screw here and a screw here. And then back, just same as on the other side, 
took this one out here, and there are two more up on the inside that came out from inside the dash. So that should do it. I'm going to see if I can pull this thing loose. Uh, once I get it loose, I'll come back and show you the removal. All right, guys, I was going to try to film actually taking that out, but uh, it, it was just by myself with uh, nobody to help film. That just wasn't going to happen. I'll tell you two more things I found. Um, there is a bolt, a screw here, and another one on the uh, driver's side there that the manual did not mention that have to come out. And uh, let me show you the dashboard and I'll show you where they were at. All right, looking in through the glove box, you see where this connector is. That was one of the screws there. And then when you look at the instrument cluster, you see this hole right here. And through that hole, you can see the other screw that went in there. So those two have to go too. That's what's holding me up. Uh, taking a closer look at this, um, the center part probably could have stayed with the car. It comes apart with two screws here, same on the other side, and there's two more underneath it. And that probably could have just picked up off without having to worry about taking that part out, but it's not a big deal. All right, now I'll show you the back of the dash here. As you can see, all of the connectors that were going to go with the dash, that that's what you have to take apart from the... Uh, fuse boxes and different places and anything that's actually connected to any of this has to go as well uh, how the dash goes in if you look down in the front here see that hole there's another one there and a third one right here and I'll show you on the dashboard right, you see this pin here there's three of those and they slide through that. That's what holds your dash down when you shove it against that and then you bolt it back down. So there you go. That, I'm not gonna lie, that is a job. That is a job and a half for any weekend warriors out there. I'm kind of intimidated about getting all this back together, but I'm pretty confident I'm gonna be able to take care of it. And uh, one other thing that I did not point out, these trim pieces that go down here and here I took those out as well. They just pop out. You just grab a hold of them at the top here and just pull down and you should be good to go. All right, let's move along. All right, and uh, one last thing before that heater box comes out. I've just pr temporarily put my steering wheel back up, but I'm looking at everything very closely and the manual I'm looking at makes no mention of it. It looks to me like this entire reinforcing bar has to come out. It holds the steering wheel up it runs from one corner to the other and it has the fuse boxes connected to it so I think that's probably going to be our stopping point for this if you guys are smelling a two-parter here it comes it's going to be a lot more work to get to where we need to be I appreciate you guys hanging out check out my next video it should be the uh, conclusion of this big mess I have here thanks again